Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. If you've been following along on this build series, we've made it to the cabinet sides being put on, and now what we are going to move on to is the face frames. So this gives it a real professional look when you have face frames. We don't have this in our other van, and we can totally tell a difference when the face frames are on, because it just looks way more professional. So. We are going to break down the face frames in a 12-step process for you all um, to make it easy. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is the layout. The layout, you're going to want to measure your layout and you're going to want to make some drawings. So we made some drawings here and these are like each one of our, our pieces. So step one is the layout. Step two is the materials list. Or your cut list that way you'll know how much wood you'll need to go get once you get your hardwood it'll be about six to seven inches wide whatever they have there and you're going to want to rip all that down to these sizes here and then i'm going to i'm going to show you as we get into the video um how i actually account for all of these and your cut list at the end will look something like this to make sure that you've got everything After step three, after I've cut everything to width, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to step four. And this board right now was set at one and three quarters. I have one and five eighths on here. So that means that it has an extra eighth on here because I'm going to take a sixteenth off of this side because it looks ugly and a sixteenth off of that side. So we left room to get rid of these burn marks from the saw. So we're gonna take it over here to the planer. After you've taken it through the planer in step four, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take it over to the chop saw in step five, and you're gonna to wanna to look at your measurement that you wrote on here. Um, when you accounted for it on your cut list. Um, so this one is a 34 and 15 16th. So I'm going to get real precise here because I don't want to mess anything up. So this goes into the done pile and I'm gonna keep moving on and cutting other ones. So now that I've got everything cut to length and I've measured it twice to make sure everything is accounted for, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, double checking and also putting things into their proper buddies. I'm going to put this whole cut list together in a pile, this whole cut list together in a pile, that whole cut list together in a pile, just so I can start framing it and we're going to move on to number six, which is the Craig jig and you're going to want to crag all of your rails, but you do not crag your styles. So here's a style, here's a rail, and those are cragged at your styles. So your styles stay clean with no crag jigs. And these are going to be the centers, so those have crag jigs going at your rails. So just a rule of thumb, never crag jig those. Also, what we're going to want to do with the Craig jig is we're going to want to turn over our piece. So if this is the piece that we're craigging, this is the piece that we're craigging. Um, we're going to look over and see which one we like, which side we like better. And we're going to craig the other side so that the ugly side is inside the cabinet and the pretty side is outside. So I have my styles set aside over there. And these are all the ones in their own um furniture piles that i need to jig so this is my jig line and i'm going to show you me jigging right now so what i've done here is i've marked where you can barely see that but i've marked where my bars will cross and these are going to cover them so i'm just going to put a little tight bond glue in there and then i'm going to use these to keep them flat so that will keep it flat against that other one. 
and because I have all the measurements, I'm gonna put them in and I've marked them all off, so it should be good. This is my first one. We'll see how it goes. As I start to put this together, I'm going to grab my styles and I'm going to walk them out to the van. I couldn't do this on the upper one, but these smaller ones I can do. So this is going to go here. I'm gonna mark a line here, a line here, and a line here and align here on the inside, just so that I know where those cross members go on this side. Frames laid out, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna put some tight bond on your edges. The next step after you have the glue on is attaching all your face frames with the face frame screw specific screws. It's a square head, and you can probably find it at any hardwood store. Get. The next step is to use your router to get the edges nice and clean so you don't have those sharp edges. So once you've got all of your frames put together, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the belt sander. So I'm using the belt sander now. And this thing, you're going to want to keep it completely flat. You're going to want to keep this thing completely flat because if, it'll take off a lot of your material if you don't keep it level. If you kind of rock it, you'll get some like divots that you can't you can't really get rid of. So what I did what I've done to practice is I've turned all of them upside down and then I I practice on the back side and then I go to the front side. So what we're doing here is we're going to be sanding these these rails. Um, so it's really flat because I just finished this one and there's a little bit of cross grain scratches and that's when you know that you can um, move on to the next one. And after you get your little cross grain scratches there, what you're gonna wanna do is go on your style. So you're gonna wanna go up and across on your style and just make sure that you don't get any cross grain scratches. Um, when you look, I mean, you probably couldn't see it on screen right now, but when you do stain it, you will see those scratches. After you've hit it with the belt sander, you're going to want to hit it with 220 grit uh, palm sander to get any of those cross grain scratches off. The next step after you've hit it with your 220 grit sandpaper is you're going to want to seal it with your polyurethane or stain. all of your stuff, all of your stain dry, is you're gonna to wanna to attach the face frame. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that right now. So right now I'm going to show you how we are going to be making our doors. We're gonna order them because we're at our breaking point right now and um, doors are kind of what's holding us up. So we're just going to order them because Ethan says when it's such a small job, like you might as well just order them because they're like $8 a square foot or something like that. So we don't have that much to get made. So it might actually be worth it. it it'll be a lot, it'll be cheaper than us doing it ourselves and messing up and having to buy more material because we messed up. So we're just gonna let the professionals do it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm measuring out all the openings for where the doors will go. And I'm writing those down and then I'm going to be putting those onto an order form sheet for Caldor. 
and Caldor will take care of the rest. They'll deliver them and then we're gonna put hinges on these face frames and then we're gonna put them in. So we're getting close to the finish line here and this makes it feel so much closer that all I have to do is measure and send out a piece of paper and they're gonna send me some doors back. So when we get the doors back, we'll stain those, make everything match. And we're also going to get, there's a choice where you can get different types of wood that you want. We're gonna go with the natural birch so that it stains the same. All right, kooks, thanks for following along as we finish the face frames. Now we're going to move on to installing the doors. We ordered those, we're making a lot of progress and we're gonna show you how we do it in our next video. Also, we're gonna try and finish the whole van because we got a week until we gotta to go to Descend on Ben and see our van fam. So make sure to subscribe so we can keep hanging out and like this video if you liked it and learned a lot. We hope you did. And let us know in the comments things that we glossed over or let us know what you think we could have done better. All right guys, we'll see you next time. Peace out.